Hello, I'm Max Balegde. Hello, I'm George Clark, and welcome to the Useless Hotline. TikTok wasn't working out for us, so we've started up our own little business. Yes, we have. <laughs> <laughs> and the Useless Hotline is a place where we help you answer your problems, no matter how disgusting, embarrassing, or ridiculous they are. Each week we'll be answering your queries and questions, and we may be joined by some potential employees who will be interviewing. Oh, shall we get into it, George? Yes, please, Maxine. Let's do it. <laughs> that was an awful lot of eye contact. Yeah, that I we didn't just really like that. Um, right, okay, so I thought we could start with some office chat, if you don't mind. Water cooler talk, you uh, could say. Oh, I quite like that. Should we call it water cooler talk? This segment is water cooler talk. <laughs> Does it work? Um, Anywho, you've moved house. I have. <laughs> I'm a London boy. You now live in London. How are you finding it? Um, Google Maps. Oh, shut up, you. <laughs> That's dreadful, that. You, who do you live with? Tell the um, audience. Okay, I'll give you my address as well. No, yeah, I, good plan. I live with... Uh, I'm Alex of YouTube fame and Arthur No, Hill. you're George. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, this is great. Um, oh, what I a live legend. With, I'm Alex of YouTube fame and Arthur th- Thame. I keep fame. doing that. Have you noticed I keep going th- instead of... Yeah. I'm Alex of YouTube I've fame not that. and Arthur Hill of, of Dinner Table th- th- Fame. What? You know. Oh, look at that oh yeah. Hmm. I didn't realise that was Arthur. Yeah. What? That's how he got famous. I thought he was a singer. Well, he's done. He did singing since then. He's a good singer as Isn't well. Isn't it mad TikTok that you can just start by being a twat on your dinner table, you could, just like, being like yeah, making fun of your family, and then you're a singer. Yeah. And then yeah, that you make a podcast. That is sick. I yeah. honestly thought did you that. Don't it, know that? <laughs> no, I know who that is, and now I'm realising. Yes, they look exactly the same because yeah. they're the same person. But I thought that he was just a singer. No. I knew that. I know, obviously, he does TikTok, but I thought that was just to like promote his music. What? Go what on a then. crazy little world. You better bloody do that. Um, how's your house? Um, does it, I bet it smells like men and BR. No. And sweat, sweat. Swibbity, piss, sweat, swibbity. <laughs> shit, piss, sweat, everything um, in between. No, we tend to flush that. Really? Yeah. We well, have, yeah, we if have, you, if you've got, got your caught anger, toilets. if you've got your caught anger up your ass, like you done. Oh, call back to last week. Hey. If you didn't watch it, get, just fucking yeah, watch it. If now. you didn't watch it and you don't know that George's dad shoved a caught anger no, up his ass, no, out of as context, infant. that sounds wrong. Not that makes it sound In like context, it did happen. Sounds no. quite hot. Oh, I'm upset. <laughs> right, move on, move on, move on. But yeah, my house is fun. I'm yeah. enjoying it. Oh, I, good. My fingertips. Um, uh, Fingering just, himself are, are bruised. There we go. Um, that's because I got two housemates. <laughs> uh, oh. No, it was the uh, it was the flat pack furniture. I've, I've been making it. That's with... what they're calling it nowadays, is it? Yes, we, we that was our little. I move, missed my move, days our movie the flat we're pack doing. furniture. You missed doing pla- what? I thought it was a sex chalk. No, we we right. just like just IKEA. Oh okay. Yeah. Does I it look like IKEA? Means. Nah. All right. um, Carry on. <laughs> <laughs> no, we yeah we made. Uh, I've just been. But we didn't do it. People, Alex has been sat watching me do it. Yeah, uh, which is weird. Do what? Thing, thing. Why have you got to make everything weird, man? I don't know. I enjoy it. I'm quite sniffly today, by the way. If I'm mouth breathing too much, please let me know. Um, because How are they going to let you know? I don't know. Um, subconsciously, I mean, psychologically, I mean, telepath, telepath, tele, 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 t I will try to stop, but I can't breathe through my nose, so I probably won't. Anyway, I've been up to fun things. Have you? I didn't remember I w- asking. Yeah, well, um, I asked myself. I asked you. you shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Max, what have you been up shut to up. this week? Anyway, um, I went to go and see Strictly Come Dancing with my grandma. Wow. Aww. And it was George when I tell you. Oh, I'll get emotional. Well, do Watching tell me. Watching my grandma be, Ooh. no joke, buzzing her tits off. What was she doing that to them for? Not my grandma, George. Um, <laughs> <laughs> she was having the best time of her life. When oh, I tell you, her. I've also never seen so many 50 to 60 year old women in sequin cardigans look like they're going to spontaneously jizz their pants on the spot. Blimey, I, this... I would hope you haven't. Yeah, well, I've not. No, um, I don't know if you have. Wait, you, you realise you've just yeah. said that's about your grandma? No, not about my grandma. My grandma's in her 70s. Your, your grandma's gonna <laughs> Doesn't count. I said 50 to 60. No, no, no. She can't anymore. She told me. Um, no, she didn't. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I'm joking. Please, no, she didn't. You just keep throwing Stop. yourself under the I didn't. bus. I don't say anything. Anyway, 50 to 60 year old women, my grandma's in her 70s, remember that? Okay. Jizzing their pants. There's this one dancer called Giovanni. 
Right. And he would come out in the breaks and like wave up. When I tell wave you... Wave up, is that the technical term? Just wave yeah, yeah. up. I'm waving up. Um, do you know when... This might sound a bit weird. Isn't it a thing that when girls go through puberty, they start to like hump the pillow? Hmm? To like se- learning sexual things for the first time, they like rub why, their fanny why, on things. Why are you asking me like I'm the resident I don't know. girl here? Don't you have a I sister? Huh? Did oh. you ever walk in on her doing a pillow hump? Ugh, absolutely revolting. Is that not, is that weird? I have two sisters, but we're quite far apart in age, so I've never seen any pillow humping. Anyway. I don't think it's an age thing that stopped that from happening. I think it's just the fact that. Like morals. Or it just doesn't happen. Like privacy. I think it does happen. Anyway, they were basically pillow humping, but no pillow, just writhing around in their seats just every time that these dads. Humping. Yeah. No, not my grandma. <laughs> <laughs> no <laughs> yeah <laughs> genuinely they were so into it and it was such a spectacular thing i felt emotional watching oh, the i dancers. don't know how spectacular look you're describing the the humping as spectacular i mean both that and the dancing yeah oh, the i really dancing enjoyed you're on, it you're on about now. yeah i loved okay. it um and genuinely oh my god and joel sug was there big up my man joel sug don't know oh, what this is, what is this? Ew, i don't know <laughs> but i feel like i'm stuck here now Ugh, i don't disgusting. know what that was big up my, ew i'd hate it have you you can, it you're allowed time? to stop. I know, but I'm going to keep doing it. Um, big up my man, just so <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> because he found us in the bar and he came over and we got our phones taken off us. So he was like, do you want me to come and get a picture of you and your grandma? And he did. And he came over and did a selfie with you. <laughs> 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 no, we got me and my grandma to take a picture of him. Um, and, oh, but it was so lovely. And I just had the best time ever. And I still feel quite emotional about it. Oh. My grandma said she's not stopped talking about it. She was bragging to people in church. Oh, God. I know. Just such a lovely time. I've no, had the best so that's time. Very, that's very cute. So whilst you were fingering your mates and your I new house. I wasn't fingering my mates. Yes, you were. Just admit it. Don't lie here on this podcast. I was building flat pack furniture. That's We've all been there. Um, Doesn't that show the, the two types of people we are? I was at home building flat pack <laughs> furniture and you're out at Strictly Come Dancing. That really does, actually. That really actually <laughs> shows our personalities quite well. Um, but yeah, what lovely times we're having. Wow, I'm so happy for us. Anyway, shall we... <laughs> Anywhere, anywhere. I think we need a drink. I do as well. What oh. do you want this week, Max? I think I'll have. We've got. Oh, wow! <laughs> it's the exact same as last week, right? Except it's even less thought through. In well, last week I had out. still water, so I reckon I'll just have the water this yeah, time. Yeah, don't want to go too hard. No, no, no. And last week I also had unbranded orange, so I might go for unbranded clear. Unbranded clear, yeah. lovely. Isn't that the name of that Australian brand that you can't speak about or else you get sued? Claire. Unbranded, Unbranded Clear. Unbranded Clear. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to leave. <laughs> Unbranded Clear. I, I'm glad that you uh, Australianized it because I had no Thank idea you. what you were talking no, about. To be fair, it was really bad. Uh, oh, God, there's some left in there from last week. Oh, God. Gobble it up for me, will Fill you? Fill me up, buttercup. Oh. I'm very sniffly. I thought... Tell- you- yeah, never mind. What? I was. I thought you were about to take a drink out of that cup, and I was like, "You'll get sick." Yeah, so I've got sniffles. <laughs> um, George Clark. Tell me when. My God. Oh God. We're we doing this again. That'll do. George. 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 Pour some of that into yours. You can absolutely suck a cock. Oh, a suck a cock. I don't like that. <laughs> what has happened? That sounded to you? quite horrible. I don't know. You can absolutely suck a cock. <laughs> I didn't enjoy that. Right. I think. It's so unusual when it comes to. <laughs> That activity. Oh, God. No, right. pour some of that into yours. No. See, I'm not just dealing with this. I'm not dealing with myself when I get into that state. Oh, blimey. This is one for the audio listeners. This is um, As, some, some yeah. lemonade. As opposed to our deaf listeners. Um, hope you're doing good Stop out there. Stop being rude, Max. I'm not. Oh, my God. Right. They this fits, this fits perfectly to a story. That's blind, actually. Um. Oh my god, there is little to no bubbles, which means you are getting a face full of white spirit. Oh my god, don't, don't, don't. Face full of white spirit? That's what your dad said last night. That's disgusting. It is. Imagine your dad spunk. (laughs) No, I won't imagine that. What? I don't know why I was about to say something proper weird. I've never seen your parents. Do they look like you? No, we look nothing alike. Fair enough. That's no, my dad actually looks very much like me. Does he? Can you show us a picture? Um, I look I've not got any to my dad no, and my mum. They might be related. Oh, bloody hell, I'm brimming. Um, not because you're talking about my dad. Uh, <laughs> you horrible bastard. <laughs> oh, right, George, let me just pop is... these back in the closet. 
Do you want to hop in as oh, well? Oh, George. <laughs> this is horrible drink. Oh, just this. This is actual a uh, horrible drink. Oh, my God. Oh, you right, dirty brother. bastard. Do you You're know, right. I was telling this story to Clarice from our management today. When I first... Because I first moved to London and I had, like, no money. <laughs> yeah, imagine how mine tastes, you big gobble of... <laughs> Ah! <laughs> Sorry, I don't know what that was. Well, did you just I don't insult know what I me as if you're on CBBS? <laughs> I don't know what I was. Shut trying up, to say. you gibbity gobbity boop. <laughs> um, when I first moved to London, I moved to do an internship, and my salary was eleven grand for the Whoa. year. Whoa, that's bad. Hey, big spender. Shut up. Uh, that's below flexing? minimum wage. I'm not. Shut up. It's literally like on the poverty line. Guys. I couldn't afford anything. The fame's got to Max Belegby's Shut head. Shut the fuck up. Eleven grand for a year. I is... remember when you were a humble king. Oh. Now I'm just a hung king. Ooh. Oh, that means I've got a massive cock, doesn't it? True. Oh, stop! You no, started that. I didn't start. You started talking about your dad spunking on my face. <laughs> Did you? What? Did I say that? <laughs> no, George, you said I'm having that. a horrible time. Stop drinking. Okay. You had a sip. What? The <laughs> oh. Anyway. Anyway. Jazz hands it away. Jazz hands. Oh. I moved to London. Well done. And I, thank you. And I had a really, really, really low paid job, but I went out three times a week because Whoa. I was a fucking legend. And it seems ill advised, actually. Yeah, yeah. And I used to sneak alcohol into clubs every single night out that I went on, no matter what, baby. Um, and the way that I would do it is get a water bottle, for, empty it like a like a little like smart water bottle, uh, Buxton's, something like that. <laughs> oh, I don't know what that was either. What I need to doing? stop drinking. I don't know. What um, was that little noise? I don't know. I don't know. I'm having a horrible time. <laughs> Why did you look like you're trying know. to escape? I'm freaking out. I'm panicking. <laughs> ah. um, and I would empty it, then fill it half with vodka, yeah. squeeze it so mm -hmm. that it was like malleable. That was quite a good word, wasn't yeah. it? Um, it's not and taking then... away from anything as you have already said this no, episode. No, at though. all. Um, and put it in my underwear. Whoa, the hell. reason being, the club that I would go to... There wasn't anything in else in there taking up the space. <laughs> exactly. Um, <laughs> I just wanted to feel something for the first time. Um, and they cannot. They can pat you down to go in, obviously. But not the cock. They can't pat the cock, unless, you know, they're patting the cock, if you know what I mean. Um, George's dad alert. Anyway. He's going to watch this. What? You started this. You're the one who told me you about it. You know, you'll him. meet my dad someday, and this will this will be playing through your mind. And you said that he spunked on my face. No, this is roll the tapes. I didn't say that. You've said Maybe that numerous times. No, I've dad, not. Dad, I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm actually sorry. What's your dad called? Sean. Sean the sheep. I am sorry. Oh, oh hey. you got poor dad. Hey. But I, so I used to tuck it in my underwear, like wrap it around, basically my gooch. And then go you into wrap clubs. it around your gooch, like wrap it around, and then like bend it so that it would fit. And then I'd get into about the club. Bowl. Yeah, then I'd get into the club, buy like a lemonade for one pound, and pour it in to save money. Really effective, genuinely. But one time, I went to London Pride. No, it was London Pride, and I went to Heaven, and I <laughs> snuck. What about it in. the club? <laughs> hey, up. and I snuck got lucky it in. At Pride. And um, they patted down like extra hard, like, and they patted like my belt line. And the bottle cap was there, which is obviously not malleable because it's like hard plastic. Yeah. And they felt it and they pulled me to the side and they got the manager and they were like, right, we need to know, have you got some... <laughs> yes. Yes. Every week without fail. This is brilliant. You never burp. Why oh are you my God. It's so good. Oh my fucking Something about God. this room. <laughs> Oh, we... I can't believe this. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> it's the fact that they all it come, just happens they come out of nowhere. <laughs> oh my god! I don't oh. even feel it coming, and then it just is. Oh god! George's dad. <laughs> Honestly, Max, stop. Sean, I'm so sorry. I'm sure you're a lovely, respectable gentleman. Anyway, we're not anywaying. They felt my you bottle just cap again, cock. Mate. What? They felt the bottle cap in okay. place where my penis should be. And they said to me... Because <laughs> I'm like, you don't have a penis. Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> where my penis should be. <laughs> and then they said to me, they were like, um, right, so what is this? Like, are you hiding something? Or do you have some sort of medical condition that means that you have to have something or are like you just down a there? hung king? Perhaps, yeah. So I, on the spot, for some reason, thought of, I was like, right, okay, I don't want to make this a big deal. Bear in mind, they had like police there because like it's 
bit, a big event, so they were yeah. like not letting people in. I was like, right, I don't want to make this big deal. Thought of this but on, you know on the who spot. I am? No, this is like three years ago when I was nobody. No, I'm joking. He does um, use that line now, though. Yeah, all the time. I walk into Sainsbury's. If there's a queue, I walk straight to the front. And I'm like, do you know who the fuck I am? Have you ever heard of TikTok? Download it now and let me to the front. Anyway, I don't do that. I feel like I just want to explain just in case people you know what I, I love doing when you do that. Just staying silent so you have, you have time to just dwell on what you just said. I do. I, I'm quite upset in. Um, but I said to him, I was like, right. I just I don't want to cause a scene, but I was just getting with someone down there, and I still had a semi erection, and he patted it down. And I feel quite uncomfortable, but if you just let me in, don't charge me, and just let me go straight. I I, I won't say anything. I won't like make it a bigger deal. They let me straight to the front of the queue. Didn't have to pay entry, and I went in no problems. <laughs> just say that someone's touched your cock and you get into a club for free. Don't know if that works every time. Yeah, I don't know if you could have a whole cute, your whole, you, you and all your mates do it. Yeah, maybe not. Like he touch touched my all cock, our cocks. My cock, you yeah. and uh, all all eight of us. Yeah, <laughs> he touched all eight At of our once. cocks. Some the octopus <laughs> man. <laughs> Octopuses have eight legs. Sophie, me. did he touch your cock as well? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh, 2022, we could have done. But the thing is, once I got in there, the bottle, because I got really drunk, so I'm a fucking lit legend. Oh, you need to anyway, stop anyway throwing I don't know what that was. Um, I ended up putting it back into my boxes when the lid wasn't properly on. I'd recently shaved my balls. We were talking about shaving balls before, and I'd used <laughs> um, a wet shaver, like an actual razor, mm. and my balls were on fire. Vodka was all over them. <laughs> Cheap vodka as well. I literally oh. was like nearly in tears. Bear in mind, you can't get it. It's in my, soaked into my underwear. I had to take my underwear off and leave it. Like, because it was burning me so cool, much. I, I had to wash parade. my balls in the sink of a club. Jesus. Luckily, there was like nobody. And I was like... You I, just whipped them out in the sink? Well, I was really drunk. So my memory of it is that nobody was there. But realistically, someone probably saw me put my balls in what the sink. What were you sinking? <laughs> oh my god <laughs> oh my god anyway yeah how did we get on to that i think i just started talking about it yeah you just I? randomly started talking about your cock anyway um yeah, what, what actually how did you get on to th- vodka vodka pouring i think and yeah, i was talking you... about it earlier today so it made me think a bit right but anyway should we do a segment <laughs> should we um <laughs> <laughs> how did you get this job what makes you quite i thought you had a hole in your jumper then no it's just a logo on the sleeve Weird place in, but I like it. Actually, <laughs> I feel a bit impartial about it. Not really what like or dislike it. To be honest. What, is don't know. what is going on? I don't know. I think I'm a bit on crack today. You're meant I'm not to very well, so I've taken a few like medications. <laughs> <laughs> oh god! You've gone mental. Anyway, but before this, he said, "Oh, I don't feel great. Yeah, I don't. But feel if that I have well. a drink, I'll probably be. He's like, I feel a bit sick. But if I have a drink, I'll probably be I've all right." I've had three cold and flu tablets. And then I've had a lot of vodka. Don't think they're supposed to mix, but I'm having a great time. That's where we are. I don't know if you are having a great time. I'm having a bloody brilliant time. <laughs> <laughs> All right, darling. Um, so I've oh, been sorry, thinking. Sorry, my foot's under the table. Is that your foot? <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> Jesus! I thought it was my penis. That long, it stretches down. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> anyway, oh my god, I have been thinking That's since us. we started this business venture together. Why? Number one, why I decided to start a business with you because I don't even know your qualifications. What did you get in your GCSEs? In my bloody hell, um, in my GCSEs, I got all A stars, or A's, and then two B's. Really? Yeah. Well, why did you? Why are you so surprised? All A stars. What? Why are you? Acting, why are you being so surprised? I feel surprised? like people who did GC- good in GCSE are a bit pussies. Are a bit pussies. A bit pussies. What um, did you get? I got two A's. Double all a. B's and one C, but I've always lied on my CV about the C. I just put it as a B, and no one's ever questioned oh, it. Oh, that's so fucking legend. That's so naughty. Because it was in English language, which is quite—I mean, not I really tell. that shocking. Yeah. Yeah. But that's—that's that's just being northern. Yeah. C's good for a northerner. To be fair, yeah. But yeah. that's quite important. Like most jobs say, you need minimum of a B you in need English to be able to language. Speak yeah. English. <laughs> and I'm fucked. I can't. But they've never—they never checked. Like even in uni, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, to I, don't, get I don't think they're going to ring up and go. No. Right, we've got Max Belegda <laughs> here, and uh, he says he's got—he's got a B in English language GCSE. Is that true? <laughs> but I think even to get into uni, I lied. That's not a good thing to lie about. How did you get into uni and lie? Did you burp again? No. Um, <laughs> I think I lied on my uni application to How? get. How? How did you? I lie? think I just put it as a B instead of a C. 
like on the thing that you send. Yeah. Do, can you not do that? Maybe I did. I've definitely done it for jobs, 100%. What did you get in your A-levels? A-levels I did better than you, actually, because we spoke about this before. What did you get? What, what, did, you, what did you actually get in your A-levels? Like, I got, before, no, 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 genuinely. Lying. I got A-star. Um, I'm not going to tell you the subjects because no, you'll ridicule go, go, go me. No, you'll ridicule me. I got A-star an A-star drama in art. A art uh, and <laughs> B textiles. No, I got not to say that those don't mean anything, but you're a fucking weirdo if you take them three. No, I'm joking. Um, I got A star no, in but, art. Um, I would have a, a fries with that, please. <laughs> I... <laughs> Shut up. Sorry, that was rude. I, yeah, that was. I didn't like that. Um, joke. I got an A star in art. I got an A in psychology, sociology, and a B in <laughs> psychology, and a C in biology. And uh, the D in oral knowledge. Oh. Oh, I'm having a horrible time. Oh god, that you, made it was me right upset. that you could have said I got a D in my biology, and then we, that then would have it been would a have better been, job. Yeah, that's the difference decided... between me and you. I say you think, then say. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Much to think about. <laughs> Shame <laughs> Which I don't isn't, do isn't that. good when working on a hotline giving advice. <laughs> no, it's not. Uh, but my A levels, not that you. Yeah. What did you really get? Asked. No, no, no. What did you um, get? I want to know. I got a C in art. <laughs> Way fucking idiot! Well, that is just because you got I wanted a scene art. Yeah, because I wanted on my CV for it to say that I'm artsy. Oh my god! I'm a, oh, I hate it. Clever. Here. I hate it here. Um, geography, I got an A. All right, okay. Did you have to do like a field trip? Why the hell are you questioning how I got my geography? Yeah, no, I'm just curious. <laughs> Where did um, you go I on a field trip? At some point, we did. I think we went to Swanage or something. What the fuck is Swanage? That sounds like a Pokemon. Swanage. Yeah. You... I choose you, Swanage. Nobody Shut chooses up. Swanage. No, they don't. Uh, and then I got um, <coughs> distinction star in B Tech Sports Science. <laughs> B Tech. They didn't actually offer an A level. B Tech Warrior. They didn't offer an A level. B Tech Warrior. Um, I actually got put in the newspaper because of my A level results. Not to brag, but I'm definitely bragging. I was also on my school's website. Right. And I did better. than... Do you remember my girlfriend that I spoke about last week, who yeah. I just wanted to do better than? I did better than her. Oh, what so, a... And I'm, again, I feel like I always talk really badly about her. She's fully probably a lovely person. She has a child. Oh. But I just wanted yours? to point out that I'm very intelligent. I don't think it's mine. I mean, I've never checked, but I've not had sex with a woman since I was like 16. And I'm pretty sure she's the same age as me. And she had it recently. So I don't think that the child is mine. Could have been laying dormant. Maybe, yeah. Did it come out at the age of three? Yes, it did. <laughs> it actually did, it's yeah. a big old boy. It actually came out at the age of 27. Um, oh, right. It had a briefcase and a job. Oh. Um, and it was talking on a mobile phone. Yeah, of course. Came out with yeah. a Bluetooth headset on. Yeah. Um, so that's quite interesting then. So we're both kind of, some would say that I'm more intelligent than you, which I quite like. I enjoy that. So I'm yeah, glad. Yeah, sure, you can tell yourself that. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I will do. Um, so with that being said, should we jump into some of our useless queries of let's the day? Put, I'm not talking about your You're a useless dad. query. We'll pop our uh, qualifi- qualifications to the, to, uh, not to use, actually, because I can't speak. So I was going <laughs> to say we will put them into use. Yes, um, we will. But apparently not. Right, okay then. So um, should we do a printed one first? I've just got an email coming. Can you believe it? Wait. Press send. That's what I just did. <laughs> Let's see if it works. <coughs> I bloody hope so. I hope so as well. Although someone's getting fired. <laughs> <laughs> <It's> <laughs> a- <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that a chant? He's getting sacked in the morning. Sacked in Call the morning. Again. The World Cup's just started. It is a football hooligan. I am indeed. Who's your, f- your favourite footballer? Um, do you know... Do you know why? Just get is a bit it, emotional. Just is love football so much. Is it Stephen Gerrard who once cheated on his wife, and he has two twin children? You're going to have to narrow it down from cheating on their wife because that yeah. is ninety percent of football. I once saw Stephen Gerrard. I believe it was him cheating in, on his wife. <laughs> in um, yes, cheating on his wife because he was um, on. He was in Knowsley Safari Park, which is a big zoo. Yeah, this that is you a can really interesting through. story, but that's just come through. Yep. Let's read this instead. <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay. <laughs> Hello, Max. Didn't say your name. Um, clearly, I'm the favourite. I've seen you have some weird obsession with Disney, so I thought I'd relay my problem in Disney terms. Ooh. In the changing rooms, every other guy seems to look like Rapunzel, whereas I feel like one of Snow White's little mates. Is that normal? Luke. Does this mean everyone look, else Luke. has big cock, he's got little cock? Huh? Wasn't yeah, that I, a kid's yeah. TV show, Big Cock, Little Cock? No, I think that might have been a spin-off. Right, okay then. Yeah. Um, well... 
what I would say is Luke didn't say how old he is, but everyone's dick is gonna grow at some point. Yeah. Or it's not. Mm. And if it's not <laughs> <laughs> What good advice this is. Or it's and if it's not, embrace it. Do you know, oh my god, this is a bit of a sidetrack, but do you know within the gay community, this is a real thing? I don't feel like I would know. No. Uh, mm, come see, come sir. That means like... Come see, come sir. Yeah. Um, that's the, in the that's gay, the gay community, French. there's a real thing about being locked, which means you put your penis in a cage. So, and... What? Right, you put is there your an animal penis, in there? Yes. You literally... It's called bestiality, Max. It's called a chastity cage. Like what they're using, like Game of Thrones and shit. I don't know. I've never watched it. Right. Um, like Shrek Two and all that. Um, and Shrek Two. Yeah, they have chastity in it. They, they, donkeys, this is Shrek Two. Donkeys they? in a chastity belt. <laughs> what are you talking about? No, I'm trying to make a real point, right? Genuinely, in the gay community, there's this thing called like being locked, and it's yeah. you put yourself in a chastity cage. Yeah. And you basically, so let's say your dick is hard, is like five inches. That's normal, right? Yeah. What, right thank you yeah yeah that's big right yeah that's big um anyway whatever um if it's hard it's five inches you'd put it in like a five inch long cage so that you can't touch it or like wank yourself off and then slowly you shrink it down so there's people genuinely that have little nubs of penises because they want it so that they are just getting like shagged mine. up the ass they're just getting like shagged up the ass and they want to feel like they have like a little like little dick that is like can't be used to shag someone so that they feel more like submissive and inferior this is genuinely real so what i would say so maybe Luke, it could be one that, of them have you perhaps <laughs> invested in, you might want to take the chastity cage off is what max is saying here. yeah if you've got one on that could be why oh sorry i should i should do it in your accent if that's what max is saying luke luke <laughs> what you sorry i just wanted to say that I that's that was... offensive to all the northerners out there um but genuinely there are some people that are into little penises. If Luke grows up to be gay oh, I'm and likes, <laughs> oh, well, um, if Luke grows up to be gay and likes to be shagged in the ass, then maybe someone's going to be into his little nubbins. It looked like a big either that or yeah, just 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 embrace what you've got, Luke. Yeah. Um, but also, if you're in a changing rooms, that would indicate that you're probably a bit younger, so you've got time to grow. I'm 23 and mine's clearly not grown to its full potential yet. <laughs> yeah, I think you might be a bit late. <laughs> Do you know I actually hit puberty really late? Well, like yesterday. Like when, I when? remember all my friends in year eight were talking about like wanking and I was like nodding along as if I even knew what that was. I don't think I actually wanked until I was like in year nine or ten. All How right. old are you then? Like 15? Yeah. That's a bit late, isn't it? That's not that late. You wanked when you were eight. You told me boy, before. Boy, <laughs> no. You told me that. Yes, Max. Yeah, so what was it over again? This isn't something that's happened. I'm not playing along you, you with told, this. I'm not playing along. You told me this, but whatever. If you don't want to speak about it, then that's fine. I thought we were like doing full disclosure on this podcast, but some people don't want to be honest. Um. Anyway, Luke. <laughs> there's, there's, all, there's full disclosure, and then there's making up a story about me wanking when I was eight. Well, yeah, who's doing that? Nobody I was here. nine. Right, okay, fair enough. Sorry, I got it wrong. Um, but yeah, Luke, I'd say... a particularly curvaceous Barbie doll. Oh my God. They just have a... They're, Barbie dolls and that are a bit weird. I think that having the literal like smooth genitalia area mm. is more confusing That's than just having a cock there. Not if it's Barbie. I mean, I'm, I'm sure there's some Barbies that have cocks mm. um, out there and good for them. Legends. Um, and I'm sure there's some Kens that have fannies. Why, why, I why don't is know this what's going on. The, inclus the inclusivity of Barbie dolls. Yes, I think that we should. Um, anyway... Luke, advice you have any? Um, <laughs> yeah, just just embrace your cock, man. Embrace the cock, no embrace matter how big or small cock. it is. I had to learn that. That's lesson. that's what uh, yeah. Max lives his life yeah, by. Exactly. Embrace the cock. I've actually got a tattoo of um, the cock. I do. Yes. Anyway, um, yeah, Luke, embrace your cock, no matter <laughs> how big or small. Like I said, there's always going to be somebody that will like your little or big or medium-sized mushroom for what it is. Oh, yeah. You called it mushroom last week. Yeah, but um, and I didn't, didn't like, like that. Yeah, so I didn't like it. I don't it? know. I think I'm changing. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm growing. I'm changing. Um, That'll be the puberty, Max. Indeed, yeah. Oh, what's that noise? Oh, Probably it's our phone. A little you... ring dingy dinger. Do you want to answer it? Of course I shall. I love our phone tone. Is that what it's called? I don't know. E.T. Fontaine. Pretty sure that's something you get off Wagamama. Hey boys, I need some help with a homosexual issue and I oh. thought there are no two people better equipped than the both of you. That's right. I am gay, but oh. I'm not out. 
Okay. And I occasionally meet men Good on the dating app Grinder. Oh. Okay. Only the other day, I was chatting to this guy for hours, oh. and he was really close to me. Oh. After gaining his trust and asking for a face pic, oh. it turned out it was my dad. <gasps> what do I do? <laughs> Sincerely, like father, like son. Don't say what I think. Well, you're you've say been there. Yeah. Oh, cool. Pretty good. Yeah. No. Well, you, what did you do? I'm. I'm not carrying right, no, on. No, with no, this, no, no. I, I, me neither. Your dad is straight, and he's in a relationship with a woman who I hope is your mother. Yeah. There we go. Um. Anyway, can I just say something? <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> something quite similar has happened to me. You. Not my dad. Sexted your father. No, not my dad. My granddad. No, I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. No, but a close family friend who I know to be straight, I ended up messaging on Grindr. And well, how's he found himself there if he's straight? Well, there you go, George Clark. This would be the indication that possibly he's not. Mm. Um, and not only was he... Me- but I had a, like, not a blank profile, but I used to have this a profile. wank profile? Is what you on Grindr, you can make profiles that do- you can put any picture as the profile picture. So I had one that was just my body. When I had a good body, right now that would repel just people. Just the body. Just the body. Well, like, uh, like. Did you have boxes on? Yeah, yeah. Just like my tits and God. belly. <laughs> have I told you about just putting your tits on the internet? <laughs> oh, what am I like? Um, so I ended up messaging him, obviously not knowing who he was, hmm. and then he replied, and then he told me that he was into dressing up like a woman and getting shagged anonymously with a blindfold on right? and i was like okay um and then sent me a picture of himself and it was a family friend who i, I thought knew- it was i thought it was and then it was a family photo <laughs> <laughs> he just sent him with all his family a picture of me and all my cousins <laughs> <laughs> i'm you in the picture the <laughs> oh my god no but i just didn't know what to do. i was so but at this point i was not out as gay so i couldn't exactly tell anybody neither of you were out as gay no i mean he's wow. dressing up as a woman and getting shagged up the ass i mean good for him if you're into that i mean i know you have frequented that oh genre. yes max yes. yeah um, Many a time. so i guess the advice that i would give is if you speak wait is your dad fit that is a big factor <laughs> do you have a sexual attraction to your dad does he have a big factor Hey up, here we are. If you are okay with shagging your dad, <laughs> hear me out. Go for no, it. <laughs> hear me out. <laughs> but you can't make an inbred baby because you can't procreate. So realistically, also I think morally you can't make an inbred baby. Yeah, right. What? In terms of if if you were actually physically capable of. Yeah, if you were physically, if it was you your don't. mom, that's weird. What if you had a child? That's too much. <laughs> That's not the only reason you don't... Is that the only reason you don't have sex with your mum? Yeah, pretty much. Otherwise, I'd... No, you are I'm joking. Odd. I would never... I would never. <laughs> no. You are so <laughs> that weird. That is really weird. But if your dad's fit, give it a go. If you're into that, if you're into that... You haven't even clocked what you've just said, have you? That was Shag so your weird. Dad if, you but want if your dad's fit, give it a go. Yeah. I personally wouldn't, but you, Luke, might be into that. I mean, clearly... You, Luke, like an idiot I right mean, now. Well, clearly, I've th- right, there's two reasons why they've sent this message to us. One, because they're thinking, do I have to confront my dad about the fact that he's gay? Is it going to ruin my family? Two, because they're wondering, is it weird if I shag him? I think it might be the first one. Right, so if it is the first one, Which maybe, is. I think... I mean, you're both going through the same thing. This yeah. is actually this is actually a positive. You're, you're both, both going through together. the same. Yeah, you could do a joint coming out. Your mum might not be best pleased. Um, yeah, but imagine the laughs. She'll I'm sure she'll laugh about it in years to come. Yeah, or she won't. She might cry a bit, but who gives a shit at the end of the day? Your dad's <laughs> gay. Um, you can both set each other up with boys. That's weird. Both got to gay clubs together. Yeah, I mean, you could do that if you were straight anyway. Um, probably a bit more weird if you were going out to pole boys with your dad. I don't know. At the end of the day, your dad just wants to shag a man. Are they in a cage? <laughs> are they one of them men that are in cages, penis cages? Who knows? I, Maybe. I've literally not said anything for so long because uh, <laughs> <laughs> you just you you get to a phase where you just monologue. About I do. Utter bullshit. Right, go on. What advice do you have then? Um, I think you have to confront him. In what way? What would you do? 
Um, in a way of turn the lights down low. Oh, pop on a bit of Marvin Gaye. I thought. Oh, get up, get up, get up, get up. Let's Marvin Gaye and get tonight. it on. Yeah. yeah, that was quite good. I don't think that's Marvin Gaye. That's just a song about. Oh Marvin yeah, that's Megan Trainor. Yeah. Often compared though, and confused. Yeah. Yeah. I prefer Megan Sneaker. What? You you're a mess. You actually are a mess. That's, that's rude behaviour that you've just exhibited. Um. So yeah. So you should confront your dad. Yeah. And say what exactly? Right. I'm gay. I've seen you on the grinders, and I've seen you shagging boyses. And maybe you should stop and tell mum immediately. Yeah. Yeah. Before you Philip Schofield this bitch. Oh. This is so. Actually, this is assuming that he has a mum. What if he has a dad? Who's just cheating on his other dad? Very true. Gay dads, a thing. <laughs> Definitely real gay dads. They are real. They yeah. are real. Not a fictional character. Mm. The old gay dads. Yeah. Uh, we've we've spoken about this for far too long. Yeah, we don't really have much advice. I think Luke, no. you fucked it. Just confront tell, your father. Confront, tell, tell him. Tell him he's gay. Say, look, dad. Or don't. I actually no. I wouldn't confront them. I'd just block and move on because. Only one, only one par- party is not is in knowledge of this is happening so far. <laughs> Sorry about that, Luke. <laughs> Won't be a second. Got a oh, bit of snuffles. Are you having a good old rummage? Your dad came up my nose. <laughs> he didn't. That is. I don't awful. know your dad, Luke. I don't know him. Oh, George, what's that noise? Um, your <laughs> raging homosexuality. Thank you. Um, I get that a lot. Right, All right let's. Oh. I didn't mean to do that. Let's get him off. What even is that? I don't know. It's... You just broke your name. Okay. <laughs> Jeez, you mess. Right, okay, well, the, luckily the phone's been ringing um, really well. <laughs> Bloody hell. Let's just <laughs> pop, pop him in for me. <laughs> Sorry, it was not the first time you told me that. No way. Right, okay, let's listen. Hi, Max and George. I'm a massive fan of both of you, but I desperately need your help. As you should. I had a company-wide meeting earlier today, and I thought that I had left the meeting because I needed to hop on another call. I took my laptop with me to the toilet because there was a few things that I needed to do while I was on the toilet, answering emails, etc. A bit weird. <laughs> yeah, so. Unfortunately, it seems that I had not left the meeting and my camera was still on, oh pointed directly at my vagina, <laughs> and my whole company basically saw me wipe. <gasps> I, I don't know what to do. I'm mortified. I am so embarrassed. I don't know whether to address it or keep quiet. I'm scared that I'm going to get fired. <laughs> Please, please help me. Why? I mean, at this point, I don't know how we can help, but we can offer perhaps some advice. You know, like we are meant like to. Like what the podcast is yeah. meant for, yeah. Um, <laughs> but I mean, in Jeez. my humble opinion, you've shown your fanny to your boss and your fellow workmates. Wow. There's almost no going back. The hell of a Zoom. Yeah, that is. That's a Zoom that will go down in history. Mm, fanny no. zoom fanny what she not only showed her fanny she wiped it Ooh. the question is was it front to back or back to front because yeah, i don't are think they're judging how she wiped i, think I it was would the fact that if you go anus to fanny hole yeah, that i don't can... think you're connecting the dots and then just move <laughs> that seems i've not been with a woman in years for all i know they could they playing dot to dot down there you don't have to wipe your woman's ass do you i hope not i did what all right then we clearly have very You think different... they wipe from ass to... Some people do, and it causes infections and diseases because they get... This isn't a, P- this isn't a PS... She didn't ask us for, like, medical advice. That's true. She should have rang the NHS. She should have, yeah. Um. So... She's still, oh, I've got a, an infection because when I was on Zoom, I wiped from anus to pum. But I think if it was front <laughs> to back... <laughs> <laughs> That's a sentence I didn't think I'd hear today. I'm not going to lie, but here we are. I think you're more likely to save face if it was front to back. If it's back to front, quit your job, you move country. You are focusing far too much on the, George, the wipe George, if she strategy. got shit in her vagina and everybody saw it, you can't come back from that. If it was just an innocent <laughs> wee rub, easy. Innocent, innocent Everyone, wee rub? 
Yeah. <laughs> I'm not Scottish. If it was just an innocent wee roll. <laughs> but I think that that is more savable than the back to front. Okay. But taking wiping tactics away. Okay. What else? What other advice? Because she has got the whole... Leave the country. I don't know how you can come back from this. I'm so sorry. I, did yeah, she give a name? I don't think she did. Get a passport. Have you got any... Um, any other nationalities in you? Um, I know someone that could make camera. a fake. Oh. <laughs> I know um, someone that could make a fake passport. Do you? Yeah. I'd keep that on the down low. Yeah. Um, I don't actually. Ooh. Um, but if you needed one, I might have. <laughs> no, I'm joking. I don't. Oh, because yeah, because I definitely thought you could <laughs> source me a fake passport. No, but I actually don't really know what to say other than maybe role play with it. It wasn't me. Next. This is a practical joke. Wait, fake vagina. Yeah. <laughs> Bring, oh my God, oh my God. Bring, buy a fake rubber vagina, mm. latex vagina that looks very real. Right. Bring it into the office. That has we coming out of it that you've rubbed off. Yes. ba bum cha It was a joke all along. I'm it wasn't a, a real vagina. Or pretend you have, in fact, got a penis. Yeah. Walk around. That'll oh work. my god! In the next Sorry, day, I screamed that. Into the... <laughs> That'll work. <laughs> the next day in the office, bring some sort of phallic device. Pretend you've got a boner publicly, so that the people think you have a penis. They've seen the vagine. What you also have at hand, your fake vagina. You're playing practical jokes. What on is your this co-workers. advice you're giving right now? Pray, play, pretend that you were playing prepare, a practical prepare. joke on your co-workers and that you've got a penis. Hey, practical joke. Yeah. I, it's not my vagina. I've got a penis. It can't have been. This was a fake. And this is my me coming out to you all that I have a penis. I wanted to do it in a comedic way so that you would all right. feel more comfortable. Okay. I think that that's a really good method right, to so take. That's, that's Max's advice. Yeah, go well, um, on, what's ass- yours? Assume a fake prosthetic penis or vagina. Absolutely. Um, mine, it's always a safe way to go. Mine is, I would say, next Zoom meeting, um, <laughs> say, like, tee it off. It's, it's, all, it's all a joke we're aware of. Just tee it off and be like, oh, don't worry, guys, I've been to the toilet already. Oh. And everyone go. Everyone goes, ah... <laughs> Okay, you've made the first joke. You've squ- you've you've addressed the elephant in the room. Not right. saying it looks like an elephant. I mean, I'm I'm based on her voice. I'm pretty sure her fanny looks like an elephant. Oh, what the hell, Dumbo's yeah. ears? Indeed. Hmm. Actually, no. That's elephants. All. Elephants ear. Yeah. You yeah. know, like I said. Oh, did you? I thought you said it. Dumbo's Dumb- eyes. Dumbo's ears. Is that what you said? Yeah, I didn't say her vagina looks like Dumbo's eyes. Right, cool. Dumbo, thinking, famous for his eye size. Dumbo does have quite nice eyes, actually. I was thinking that would be a bit weird. I've had a bit to drink. Carry on. Um, I, I was finished, but... Oh. As she was. I often have that problem. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, yeah. Um, that is a good point. If you make fun of yourself first, then people can't make fun of you. You hold mm. that power. So you walk in the office the next day, got my fanny out, maybe make yeah, a maybe t-shirt that run, says fanny don't girl. burst in the door and go, I got my fanny out. Right, okay then. Perhaps... Did just su- more subtle. You're wearing a blazer. You've printed a T-shirt that says, "I got my fanny out you're on going, Zoom." You're going way Take too Take the into blazer this. off. Now it's lunchtime, like... halfway through the day, so that people are maybe not thinking you're going to address it. Lunchtime, take it off. Walk around for the rest of the day with that T-shirt on. Maybe print it on the back as well, so that people can see, see that this works. But it then seems like a planned attack that you deliberately got the vagina right. out. Right. If it's more of a sort of, oh, oh, I've been to the toilet already, by the way, guys, and everyone gives it a, oh, all right. Then it's like, okay. Right. That makes more sense. Yeah, do you know what? I, I, I think your with, advice with, is if probably you, better. If you come in bringing merchandise and sort but of I think you always have scarf. to think of a way that you can profit from this. She could become pussy on Zoom girl. That has a good ring to it. It really does. We've got Doja Cat, pussy on Zoom girl. Is Doja Cat a superhero? What's that noise? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I say we move on. Oh, I've just got one that's come in. I haven't had one that's come in yet. Oh, you maybe Send you have one. Me. Maybe you've got one yeah, that's just come in. Me. Right, I'll forward it to you. Um, what's your email again? Um, Small dick locked up boy at gmail.com. There you go. Oh, you just pressed it send. That was really fast. I didn't, <laughs> I didn't even send it to you by the time it's sent. That's mental. <laughs> Right, there you go, sir. Thank you. Ooh, just a little one. Enjoy. That's what I say when I pull my trousers. There down. we go. 
Um, <clears throat> I was at a sleepover recently, and my friend got his cock out. As they do. It's just just a sleepover. You could have left it at that. Yeah. Weirdly, the dangler isn't what bothered me. Oh. I noticed he was well manscaped. Ah. Other um, scaping brands are available. Oh, of course. I didn't know that was something people did. I heard it was just a porn thing. Mm. Now I feel like I'm brimming with pubes. Is that right. wrong? Harry. Harry, Harry. How do you feel about pubes in general? Um, I... If you were getting... If you were putting your face in a fanny <laughs> oh my god if you were if you were with a girl sexually and they had a l- big bush would that turn you off or on i'm just I'd are you be, impartial I'd, to I'd, a pube I'd just, I'd just be grateful to have a woman. i mean you of course yeah but would that are, are you up impartial to a pube um i mean i feel like personal preference uh, maybe i've been brainwashed but i'd say non-pube non-pube at all see i think for women the the industry standard is <laughs> the industry standard yes, <laughs> is bald baby pube don't As say in, baby yeah maybe just bald like newborn pube don't say newborn mm. bald pube miss bone <laughs> bald <laughs> pubis bone pubis area <laughs> pubic pubic area um <laughs> you got to rest. i think so um pubic area. so bald fanny okay whereas for men I personally prefer a little bit, not bald, because it makes you look like a child. And I don't want to have sex with a child. Do you? No. Good. Um, I was just checking. <laughs> um, I was just checking. Um, and I think if it's trimmed, but you can still see Heather, for me, obviously, I'm not fannying about. I'm cocking about. Nice. Hey up. Cocker. Um, so I prefer a little bit. And recently, my boyfriend actually just <laughs> didn't shave for a while. And I said to him, I was like, that is not attractive to me. I don't like it. And he was like, I feel like, um, oh, the printer just shouted at me. Maybe it's Andrew. Andrew. <laughs> no, I think he was just telling me to fuck off. But um, yeah, my boyfriend recently grew his pubes out and I didn't like it. I wasn't a fan. So maybe, did they give a name? Harry Harry. Harry Harry. Maybe you should. Oh my God. 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 Tell me. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah girly Ugh. oh okay. i mean no come on george is homophobic i mean i'm not homophobic just well, you I are. Don't join in on no the you are but it's hand fine gestures. Well, you are but it's all right um anyways <laughs> so <laughs> no uh, you are you are <laughs> no go on no i once had this friend who oh, was older than boasting. me i know shocker um who was actually older than me oh. and genuinely said to me he'd like recently come to terms with his sexuality and was like getting with boys and he was like so like i met this guy the other day and he said to me once I pulled my pants down that he wasn't into me anymore because my pubes were too long. And he went, have you ever like trimmed your pubes? And I was, bear in mind, this man was 25 years old. Right, how old were you? I was 21. So that means that in 25 years, he had never trimmed his pubes. He's never, oh wow. Never once. So he was like, do you like trim your pubes? And I was like, yes. And he was like, oh, like, uh, what do you do? And he was asking me, what I do, how to do it. He thought that you would get some scissors and do it. So that begs the question, how long were these pubes? He's rocking Be- a full-on bull for it. Absolutely. And that is just not on for me. Some people might be into it, but I mean, Harry Harry... personal preference, I guess. Yeah. Rock I mean, out I with mean, your I, hair out. If I'm like mucho in lovo with a gal, I, d- I don't think I'm going to go, uh, hair, go away. I guess not, yeah. If you're in love, hairy puss, not that big of an issue. But perhaps when you're first meeting someone, you want it bald, as you just said. <laughs> uh, like a nice clean plate Ooh, to eat off of. Ooh, plate, Max. I'm upset. But yeah, I do think it's personal preference. However, Harry Harry, if you're feeling insecure about it, just trim your pubes. They're going to grow back. And if they don't, that's weird. Get that checked out. I don't know what to say, but they're probably going to grow back. Mm, manscaping's normal. Yes. And womenscaping. Absolutely. Peoplescaping. They themscaping. Give it a mm. go. Um, I think go for it. There's many good razors out there. I've trimmed my, um, I've shaved my balls and cut them once, and that was really. I once put hair removal cream on my ass crack and anus and balls, and I <laughs> and I got like first degree burns on my ball sack. 
Jesus. It was horrible. That doesn't sound enjoyable. No, because... Why would you do that to yourself? Well, the skin on your... I didn't realise the skin on your balls is obviously different to the skin on, like, your ass cheeks. So I put oh, hair... Really? Up, I know. Shocking. Your, so I put, your, your ass doesn't look like a scrotum. I mean... <laughs> no, it doesn't. Walnut ass. Yeah. But, um, yeah, basically, it's a very thin layer of skin versus, like, a big meaty chunk, especially if you've got a big, Ooh. fat... Fucking! No, please never describe your ass as a big <laughs> meaty chunk ever I won't, again. I won't. I promise. Um, but yeah, big fucking meaty chunk. And yeah, I burnt it. Was that it. your name on Grinder? It was. Yeah. Um, I burnt it. Are you calling me fat? You are. Um, it's okay. <laughs> oh my god. Um, but yeah, I burnt my ball sack. Oh. Moving wow. on, Harry. Harry, I say just shave them and see what happens. See what happens. Yeah. Um, they're just. I mean, if they're getting out of control, just tame them. Yeah, Tim the Beast. That sounds like a, you've just done an advert, like an ad read. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I have. The new Mac Belugi Razor, Tim the Beast. <laughs> I like it. I think that that's coming soon. Um, oh, you won't be. Oh, George, I've just got one coming in. One oh, sec. No way. Yeah, I know. Look at the time of that, bad boy. Right. You really sort out your desktop. You're doing a lot of rooting around. I know. To be honest, I don't think this computer works. I just press buttons and it prints out. I don't really get it. Wow. Oh. It's coming out, just like me in 2018. You came out I tried, 2018? To, I tried to wink at you then, and I blinked with both eyes. You came out in 2018? I think so. 2017. How old were you in 2017? 18. I came out when I was 18. Oh. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> Wait, let me blow my nose. Sorry, everyone. Okay. <laughs> I'm jealous of his nose. <laughs> Hello, and thank you for taking the time to read my message. Basically, four years ago, my friend asked me to look after a pet hamster while she was away on holiday. Mm. I obliged and had a great time with the little fluff ball. Um, until one day when I was letting him roam out of his cage and somebody knocked on the door. I answered it, and when I came back, I wasn't paying attention as I sat on the couch. I heard a slight squeak as my cheeks hit the cushion and in I and I had in fact sat on her hamster, ending its life. I have never cried so much in my life as I peeled the mushy remains Ooh. from my buttocks. Ooh. To this day I told her it somehow escaped, but I can't sit on this any longer. Ooh. Literally. You shouldn't have sat on it at all. Should I tell her sincerely hamster ass crusher wow <sighs> she even made a username do you think it? that that's the full name hamster ass crusher i mean that's quite be, a coincidence yeah, if it is of a coincidence um it was a premeditated attack i feel if that's the name yeah so <clears throat> what do you think should Number she one, tell her I, did, I wasn't aware that people if they went on holiday like got a hamster sitter not it <laughs> I mean, she yeah. gave a whole new meaning to hamster sister. She bloody did. Um, no, it, I didn't think people got someone to look after the hamster. I thought well, they yeah, just it gave them a bit more food. No, then... I think it would die. I'm pretty sure you have to feed it every day. Well, yeah, um, it just gave it a bit more food. Have you ever had a hamster? Yeah. Yeah, and it died within a week, didn't it? No, it, she died. Fed it, it once did a week. die. Do you want me to say how my hamster died? Go on. Um, don't laugh, because I know you will. I'm it's probably going to really, laugh. It's actually really emotional. I'm definitely going to laugh, though. Okay, so um, I was about eight. <laughs> Pussy! <laughs> oh, carry on. Okay, so I was about eight. Way. And I we got a hamster. Its name was Gromit. It was it was Albino. Been there. Um and so um it was a bit of a bit of a how do I how do I say it? It was a it was a bit hamster. of a rash hamster. Not in terms of it medically, had a rash. it just oh. sort of ran around a lot. Bit crazy. Um yeah. So at night we used to always hear it. Very very erratically running around its wheel. I thought it was training for some sort of marathon or oh, something. Bless. It wasn't. Um, yeah. or it might have been, but it didn't make it, unfortunately. Oh, um, and one night, it was being particularly loud. Oh. And we thought, bloody hell, Gromit. People are trying to sleep up here. Was your dad having his way with it? Oh, God. What? That's my hamster. My and it's ham your dad. I'd, dad. I'd be more worried about my your dad. My dad's hamster, Max. Okay, right. Carry on. I'm sorry. So we, we think nothing of it. And we go downstairs. And yeah. my dad finds it. <laughs> I bet he does. Why are you making it weird? I'm not. You are. Carry on. My dad finds It's not funny, Max. It's my dead I'm hamster. I'm not laughing. Nothing's funny about Gromit this. Gromit died. Yeah. It, we found it hanging limp from just its hind leg down the side of the cage. 
um, as we th- we, we can deduce it, it it had stairs to get to the second level. We weren't savages. Oh right, okay. Uh, we had he had a penthouse. Yeah, of course. Um, Bless him. All right. But he decided to not use the stairs. Legend. Try and squeeze his way through the gap between the second floor and the cage. Ooh, rookie mistake. Slip, caught yeah. his leg in the door, Wet. and then just hung there. And oh. the noise that we were hearing was him banging against the cage all night, oh. trying to ga- gain our attention. Yeah. Um, and obviously to no avail. But the plucky little soldier lived on. Really? Yeah. So my dad snapped a lollipop stick in half. We all know what that means. P- nobody knows. What does that mean? I don't what? know. Carry on. Who made it S- weird? Not me. Carry somebody on. Somebody snapped a lollipop stick in half. Hey, oh. Somebody, my dad did. Yeah, Put it around his legs as a splint, his leg as a splint, yes. wrapped it up, and, and then set it on set fire. Set it on its way. Um, does but that mean then set it on fire? No, it oh. was alive still. Oh, it's like a Viking's funeral. No, the Vikings don't give their mates a splint around their leg. And I then thought a just splint was like what you light a fire with. No, a flint. Like to, flint, yeah. Close. Carry on. Um, so it had a little splint around its leg to let it walk again. Oh. Um, but then the next day we found it dead in its bed. And my dad came into my room. Um, and I remember I was playing Uncharted on the PlayStation. Oh. And he came, not an advert, and he came in and said, George, Gromit's died. Oh. And I said, one second, Dad. And he said, George, Gromit's died. And I said, Dad, I'm, in, give a, me a I'm, sec. I'm in the middle of the level. I can't pause. Yeah, that's valid. Um, and he said, "Okay, I'm going to, so I'm going to bury it in the garden." Ah. And I said, "Okay," uh, and he didn't. He threw it in the wheelie bin. Ah. Was it the recycling bin? Because you can't put it in there. I'm sure. Compost. Compost. I think it was. Yeah. That makes sense then. I mean, you're giving back to Mother Nature. You dead hamster. Yeah, but um, that was a sad story. Yeah. Um. So your dad didn't touch it inappropriately. It just no. Anyway, hamsters. Um. Um. Yeah. Somebody sat on their hamster. So what? What? Any ha- hamsters always die in a they weird do. way. They do. I feel like hamsters are always gonna die. Do you know what? Everything dies. I say your friend doesn't know the difference. You're clearly still friends. Maybe if you did confess, you wouldn't still be friends. Yeah. So why up the positives and the negatives? You've got eternal guilt for smashing that hamster with your big fat ass cheeks. Yeah. So what? Um, so what? You aren't giving advice here, Max. We've all done worse, Have we? haven't we? Mm. I don't think we've. I've not sat on a hamster. What's worse than sitting on a hamster? Probably like some like a rabbit sitting on a rabbit. I've never done that. But if you did, I would imagine that's probably worse. That's like upper level in it from hamster. Oh, yeah. Why? What's the? Do you not value the hamster's life as much as a rabbit? Not as much as the rabbit. Cause rabbit's bigger. The bigger the animal, the more the more it important. Means. I mean, if I sat on a tiger. And it died. You'd First know. of all, I'd feel <laughs> <laughs> I'd feel really bad about myself. I think God, I've gained a lot of weight. That would actually probably be a, a bit of a self confidence blow for me. Yeah. Um, likewise, if I sat on a lion all right, well, I don't or know a what bear and it what, died, what I would doing? feel really <laughs> what shit. What are we doing here? Um, I think we're trying to give advice. Basically, I say keep it to yourself. What she doesn't know can't hurt her. I Do you say, have any advice? I'd say honesty is the best policy. Boring. Say, remember when I said your hamster ran away? I'm really sorry. I went to the door to pick up my delivery um, mm-hmm. for the money you ever so kindly gave me to look after your hamster. To look after it, yeah. Um, and I accidentally sat on Hammy. Was it? Did it have a name? No way, George. I had a hamster called Hammy. Oh my God, that's so original. I'm leaving this podcast and never returning. <laughs> It was actually called Toasty, but we called it Hammy for Ham and Cheese Toasty. Anyway, I think that's still alive. I don't really know. My friend does it. Okay. Um, but yeah, I would say just keep it to yourself, but you're saying tell. Um, I, I so say I guess we have to thumb war for the real answer. We are doing a thumb yep. war? Are we? Yeah. Quick. One, One two, two, three, four. four. I, I declare, declare a thumb, thumb war. war. Bow. Kiss. <laughs> and then let's get going, baby. Right, so you're fighting for I'm, don't tell oh, him. Oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, uh, have you had a uh, mouth? Have you had a uh, mouth? Oh, I admit defeat. I accept. Oh, I don't like the way that you. I didn't. I, th- I kind of said it in a moany yeah, way. Went, oh, yeah, I admit defeat. I'm sorry about that, but that means she has to. She has to tell her. There you go. You have to um, through the medium of fun war. We've decided that you need to yeah. tell him about your hamster. Yourself. Say you mate, my ass cheeks swallowed your hamster. Mm. I'm sure she's heard worse in her life. Good aim. Yeah. To jump on a hamster to a point where it 
Or just giant ass, maybe. How? The remains. You have to scrape the remains off yeah, your Yeah, she ha- said she had to pull it off. I'd say you have to have a, quite a bony ass to no, do I'd that. I'd say a giant, big, voluptuous. No, but then more surface area, you're just sort of suffocating it. If you've got a bony one, it would just... Like a dagger. Yeah, it'd like stab it, wouldn't it? Gain some weight while you're at it. Yeah. Um, good idea. Anyway, we've smashed it for today, I think. I don't know. Well, like the hamster. Yeah. R.I.P. Um, whatever it was called, but I think that we've given some great advice. I don't know if I'd agree. I th- oh. This could be this could be a common theme of the episodes. <laughs> I don't know if I think we have given a good good advice today, mainly uh. because you're half the people that are giving the advice. <laughs> That's true. I've enjoyed myself. <laughs> <laughs> Oh God, I felt like a... You said that like <laughs> Christopher Walken. <laughs> I've enjoyed myself. I'm so sorry, I don't know what happened then. I had a great time. Um, if I you liked didn't, it too. Sauce. Um, I mean, <laughs> I wonder what will be happening on the useless hotline next week. Probably the same. It's not the same thing. This, probably. this is a different podcast every week. Yeah, probably different queries. The same two queers. <laughs> I like that. Um, we'll probably we might have a guest on. Who knows? Um, we maybe do. not. Um, <laughs> we don't know yet. We don't know. No, we don't know. Maybe they'll send their CV through, um, and we'll be able to have a look at it. Yeah. Who knows? Um, not got a clue. But yeah. Um, be the first if- time you've seen V. <laughs> Vagina. I'm upset. Are we having a guest on next week? Did I we decide that? I don't know. Well then, don't say yes if we are if we don't know. Well, we said we could do. I didn't say we are. You just said we are. I didn't. I don't remember. I said we could have a guest on next week. Who knows? Right. Okay. Yeah, we could. Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? Well, thank you for watching this episode. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, go give us a fuck. Give us. If you did. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> if you did well thank you for watching this episode i hope you enjoyed if you did if you're watching on youtube give it a like subscribe if you're listening give us a five star rating and a review and a review that helps our plan of world domination yes. um and it lets people know that this is the big be- be- the, big- day, the best podcast that you've ever listened to in your entire life and if you would like to submit some queries Cheeky. that's me we, um, are we gonna make this joke every time I we think say so? Query? Yeah, I'm enjoying it. Okay. You can submit it to the useless hotline podcast at gmail.com. That's the useless hotline podcast at gmail.com. Or if you would like to submit a voice note that will be used as a live call in the studio, <laughs> then submit them to our Instagram <laughs> at the useless hotline pod. That's our Instagram at the useless hotline pod. And please make it exciting, otherwise, you're, you're not, not getting it in. Yeah. Yeah, you're barred. You're barred. That's all from us. We'll see you next week. And remember... Don't sit on your hamster. Or if you do, lie about it. Don't sit on your hamster. (laughs) Lie about it. (gasps) Lie on your hamster. Hashtag dead. (laughs) (laughs) R.I.P. See you next week. Love you lots. (laughs) (laughs) I need to go home. I can't do this.